Well, it's the reality show pushing everyday Aussies to their limits as they chase prize money. And my favourite show on TV this week's episode of The Summit saw emotions reach new heights, particularly for one contestant. Up on that ledge, the accident came rushing back to me. My fear of heights was heightened. My body was screaming at me, don't do this. There is. I see it coming over. Coming, guys. It's coming. Is he alright? Yeah. You good? You good? You alright? Isaac, what's going on? I'm, I'm leaving. Just leave him, leave him. I've had enough. We just, need, we just need to stick it out. But... I need a hot shower. <laughs> I need a hot shower. I could run you a bath, I would, eh? <laughs> but we're halfway. Yeah. We're halfway off getting that hot shower, OK? Just stick it out for seven more. Look, he's a bit sooky, but we love him. <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Musician from Dubbo, Isaac Compton. We love his work. Yes. Big round of applause for Isaac, please. What you have done, what you have done. I loved you from the first moment yeah, I saw you on this series. You. Um, you're a really interesting player. What was the experience like? What is it like? Oh, look, it's it's so hard. Like, test you physically, mentally, emotionally. Like, at, emotionally, as you can see, cried a lot. Yeah. But physically, it, like, pushed me, mentally pushed me. I mean, sometimes you just got to let it out, right? <laughs> <laughs> but every day? <laughs> she does regularly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. I mean, this is the thing. I mean, you, you talk about the mental fortitude that's needed in something like this as well. I mean, last night you played a bit of a power move. You were playing a part in sending Sam home. Yeah, the poor Sam. We're actually, we're actually really good friends, Sam. And okay. I, like, so yeah. that was probably one of the harder, the harder decisions to make on the mountain, mm. like to send Sammy home because we were so close. You don't get to see a lot of it on the show, mm. but we we're actually... Really good friends. But anyone from the eastern suburbs, you're not going to feel <laughs> bad about sending them home, eh? I mean, they're just all, it's kind of soft anyway. Um, but you do have to mix and match it a little bit. You're, you're really close with Alex. I mean, so this is what I think you're, you're a really great empath the way you've played the game. Thank so you. you've got to be soft and you show yourself to side. Yeah. But then, you, then at the end of the day, it's brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you've got to be cutthroat, like, when you make these decisions too. Like, and I went in with that plan to be cutthroat, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And, like, I tried to show a little bit when we sent Stephen home. Mm. But then as you go through this journey with these people, you have these experiences, you become really close. Mm. Yeah. So it's hard. It becomes a lot harder. What, do you, what would you say to people out there who haven't seen it about what, what the show is to you? Um, the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life. Like, I wouldn't want to do it again anytime soon. Yeah, I right. would do it again. Yeah, good. <laughs> give, give yourself some time. <laughs> yeah, give me some time All to right. go through therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there after the show. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You're a legend. Love you. Oh, well, the summit continues on 9 and 9 now this Sunday at 7pm. Keep your eye out for Isaac. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?